Hey guys, Dan here today with a new video talking all about The Sims 4 on console, which is coming this November to both PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Now, for those who don't know already, and based on this really weird setup, I'm currently in Cologne in Germany, as I've been out here for The Sims Mobile for EA's Gamecom show this year, basically. Um, and that's been pretty awesome, and things will be shareable in the future. Um, but throughout that, in the EA Business Lounge and also in the Friends and Family Hall at Gamescom, The Sims 4 uh, on console was available to try and to play. So naturally, I went over and gave it a go to see what the fuss is about and, you know, to see whether it seems like it's going to be a good game when it launches. So I've got my iPad here with a few notes on it and I've also written an article as well which you can find at beyondsims.com. I'll probably pop a link below which goes into a little bit more depth than I will in this video. Um, but essentially I just wanted to share what I thought of it based on my experience and just to make you aware of it, especially if you are a console gamer and you're looking forward to the idea of having a console version again. Please also bear in mind that when I dig into this, that The Sims 4 on console was a pre-alpha build. So this means it may not reflect the final product. Um, and obviously as it's still a few months away from launch, things could be changed, things could be tweaked, etc. So what I say may not reflect it. So usually with a console version of The Sims, it normally comes out about a year or two after the main game. So with The Sims 3, it came out in 2010 on console, so a year after. Um, Sims 2 was 2005, again a year after. And The Sims 1 had both um, The Sims 1 on console and also The Sims busting out uh, as well. And it was also The Herbs. So there was lots and lots of console games. And then for The Sims 4, The Sims 4 released in September 2014, so almost three years ago now. And nothing really happened after that console-wise. There's tons and tons of stuff for PC, obviously, as we know. But nothing has come into fruition for console uh, until now. So, essentially, The Sims 4 on, on console is almost an exact replica of the PC experience. So, I say this is a bit of a double-edged sword. So, with console, a lot of people have come to expect a story mode, um, and then some sort of free play mode which resembles that Sims experience and it normally has some sort of multiplayer thrown in. I don't think Sims 3 did, um, but Sims 2, Sims 1. Um, but that's kind of the expected thing on console I guess, even now. I don't, I mean Sims 3 didn't really do that too much, but um, I, that's still something I associate with console games. The, the console version, as it's an exact replica on PC, it means you're going to be able to experience The Sims 4 exactly as you do on the PC. Um, so this is great so you can take advantage of Create a Sim, you can take advantage of the powerful build mode, and you can experience everything in live mode, including toddlers, pools, ghosts, careers, dishwashers, everything that's been added in up until this point in free game updates. So that's awesome news. This is great if your computer can't handle The Sims 4, or if you're new to the franchise, if you don't have a computer, um, or you know, or even if you just want to just sit on your couch and enjoy The Sims on a big TV, it's pretty awesome. So the controls were the bit that probably I was most vocal about, um, at least to Rachie Bop. She will tell you that I went on about them quite a bit. They're very difficult to get used to at first. Maybe that's because I'm more used to keyboard and mouse. I don't play my console as much. On older Sims games, there would almost be a massive pointer that would come down, like a massive line with a circle around it, which you could use to navigate around the game, select objects, um, interact with Sims, and then if you wanted to go into buy mode or anything else, you'd press the start button, and from there you'd be able to go in and access everything. But in The Sims 4 on console, it's exactly the same user interface as PC. Exactly the same great for familiarity and it, and, it, and it works, although I'm still not 100% convinced that it converts over to a console game just yet. The more I played it, the more I got used to it and the more it made sense and it did work pretty well. There's even a virtual cursor on the screen which you will use to interact with the world. Then on the PlayStation controller um, and on the Xbox there'll be this, one of the buttons, um, the big like track pad thing that it has on there, I can't think of the exact button name, you press that and that lets you switch between using the cursor to interact with the game and the world and the user interface elements and then it kind of hops around between them based on where you push the analog stick. 
So it kind of makes sense, and it's just something I think the more you do, the more you use it, the more you get used to it. And I found that as I went back several times, I'd try it out, and every time I went back just to try it out for a little bit, I got more used to it and happier with those controls. But they are the bit that I'm most cautious about and will probably be most cautious with when it comes to reviewing it when it launches. So keep an eye out for that, obviously. Um, at review confirm um, and all that fun stuff. Um, I'll have to buy it and go from there. And another thing as well is it will be launching with the pre-order bonus of Perfect Patio Stuff. So this is something that is very interesting because console games have never had expansion packs before and it seems like it has the ability to do that in The Sims 4 on console. So it's not launching with any expansion packs but from what I've seen on Twitter it seems like it will be assessed whether there's like a demand for it and what could be brought over but it's definitely a possibility and I have more reason to believe this that will happen as well not just because Perfect Patio is coming over but which is such a random stuff pack to bring over as well but I think it's because I have the hot tubs and Sims love hot tubs um, but more, another reason I believe this is because on the main menu on PC it shows all of the expansion packs and stuff packs you've installed or that you've purchased and this is present at least at the moment uh, in the console version of The Sims 4 so I think that definitely leaves room for that to happen, which is really exciting. But in a nutshell, I would say, based on my initial play with it and first impressions, The Sims 4 on console is essentially The Sims 4 on PC. It is like they have just brought it over and ported over the code. At the moment, the game is a little bit laggy at times. Um, and like I said, controls you need to get used to. But the game itself, is the Sims 4 experience that you've come to love, that you've come to expect from the Sims franchise. And this is great news for everybody who is playing on console so that you can take advantage of this. And also then no matter what device you're on, you're able to play the Sims 4. So on PC and Mac, you've obviously got the main experience. On console, you've got pretty much the same experience. And then on mobile, you've got the Sims Mobile and the Sims Free Play. So there's really this massive like portfolio of everything kind of growing here. And it's really awesome to see so much push on The Sims. Um, so you've got some experience, basically wherever you are. It's really awesome. I think from those first impressions, The Sims 4 on console will be good. But I think whether... Unless you want to play on the couch, if you already own The Sims 4, you won't need it. If you're happy with your PC experience, you won't need it. Whereas in the past, there may have been some more pushes, some things were slightly different to get it on console as well. But I don't think that'll be the case this time around. But if your computer can't handle it, if it, you haven't played The Sims 4 yet, whatever it may be, this will be the best opportunity for you to get into The Sims 4, I think. Um, you know, the console community have been asking for it for a very, very long time, and it, they've been very vocal about it on social media. So I think they'll be really happy once it launches. So for all the latest news on The Sims 4 on console, PC, and also Sims games on mobile, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and also check out beyondsims.com where I post all of the latest news and reviews all on there for you. And I'll see you next time.